Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we will be seeing how we can set up alerts and reports in Superset. So before we just start, uh, we have migrated uh, all the documentation and everything, all the assets to this specific uh, website which is docs.chantanukon.me and uh, you will find all the information here because uh, when I was trying to put all the information on GitHub it was creating a mess. So we will see that here we have this Apache Superset. This is still under development. So you might find some links redirecting to the owners or something else. But if you click on Apache Superset, many of these things will be working. Uh, installation, Docker and so on. So let's start. Here you can see alerts and reports is already added. And in this alerts and report, before we start, we have to make sure that Chromium Headless is installed or Firefox is installed. For this specific tutorial, we will be using Chromium Headless. So we will see how to install that. And um, we have to make sure that Celery Worker and Bit is already running because this is going to uh, run or schedule the jobs and send it uh, according to the time that we scheduled. So let's start. Uh, before we go through this documentation, we have to first install Chromium. As salary workers are already installed, you can see it is here. You can refer this documentation. I don't think it is available here as of now, but uh, the video is ready. I will, I'll, I'll just do it at the end of the day today. And uh, in Chromium, let's start with this. So I have this terminal where uh, Superset is hosted. It is actually on Azure. So let's do one by one. I'm just going to copy. It is just same as GitHub, but a bit more visually appealing. Now it is done. Let's move to the next step, which is actually going to download. So basically what we did, we just did update and then install all the dependencies that we need. Then we're going to download this Chromium stable package. And then we are going to install it. So let's do it quickly. I think it will look better. Let me do one thing. Instead of doing on first line, I will do it on second or third line so that it, it will be visible properly. Let me copy it again and paste it. Now it downloaded. So you can see it downloaded it. It is saved in the present folder. You can create another directory because it should not be here. You can see now what I'm going to do. I'm going to rm-rl Google Chrome this. I don't need it anymore. So deleted. Now sometimes what happened? It will throw error. But basically you can just go ahead and do this. It will it will install all the dependency that Chrome needs. Let me do one thing. Uh, let me just go back and download it and install it again. I am having doubts that it didn't install properly. So let's see. Yes. Okay. Now it is installed and let's download the chromium driver and install it so this apt command will download and install it by itself so our chrome is now installed let's move to alerts and reports now to enable alerts and reports you can see we don't have anything here as known as uh, which is called as alerts and reports nowhere you can see even here you can see there is nothing like alerts and reports what I'm going to do, we are going to go ahead and copy this feature flag and put it in our feature flag. Let's go to, uh, no. And uh, put it right here. In case we do not have any feature flags enabled. So let me copy the entire thing and paste it here save it close it let's check if our super set is running hmm. it is not running so hmm. now it is running uh, and you can see now alerts and reports is here to configure SMTP, you will need SMTP credentials, which is your SMTP host, your SMTP port, and email, and so on. Um, I already have one, and why I'm showing you this specific snippet, you can put your credentials here to check if uh, everything is working fine. 
you can manually send an email to yourself or something uh, to verify it i already tried and it is working so this is my code i tried it you can see again i will go i'm going to send it uh, see it sends email sent successfully the code sends email sent successfully um, i modified it a bit to show that it is uh, actually sending it i i'll put that code as well because i believe this code is having some issues so i will put this code on the documentation so let's go ahead and do that so here you can see this is what the config file will look like it should have celery we do not have celery bit so i'm going to copy schedule celery bit that's what i think and i hope it is not there because it is better if we do it on together like how everything is working yes so you can see celery is here but celery bit is not here and that's why i am going to copy it and bring it back to the alignment okay so celery bit is schedule you can just put this code and it will run like every minute or something like that every minute every hour once it is done you can put the things like when to wait and so on this is what they have configured like screenshot wait time load wait how much time it should wait and how much when it should do this is for slack so i'm not going to do that and this part you should copy entirely as it is there are going to there are going to be few changes but as of now i'm going to copy as it is i will tell what are the changes so first thing uh what i can do i'm going to change this to localhost i don't want it to be changed i mean i don't want it to be super set because i do not think we have configured that localhost instead of this okay so what this says we have chrome driver and all the configuration options to the chrome driver that it should uh, run headless and so on now we want to make sure our smtp credentials are correct so i will quickly put my credentials i will highlight those i will i will hide those and restart superset okay now our superset is restarted let me refresh the page and it didn't work it didn't go as planned so let's do the bug tracking what happened must be some indentation issue when i copied that thing so how to check let's run it manually dot slash run superset and it will fail if something is wrong and it failed with some error so it shows see this is showing that something uh, one of the comment was mentioning that uh, this uh, this uh, uh, above exception was occurred and something like that another exception occurred by while handling this exception or something so you have to just scroll back up till a point you will see the initial exception so you can see there are a lot of exception i also don't know what this issue is because it is something now you can see it is simply saying cron tap is not defined right so why cron tap so what this is saying that cron tap we have used cron tap but it is not defined so let's quickly go to the supersets documentation uh, and there must be an import saying we have to import cron tap and we totally forgot about it so let's again edit superset config file and on top basically here itself i'm going to just save it close it and run it again now let's see if something else is having some issue or what and i guess no it is running fine so let's quickly refresh it now it is coming back let's do covid vaccine dashboard and uh, set up email report you can see it is now like this weekly report every day at 13 every minute we want it let's consider from 12 not here 
12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 i can even type i guess no we cannot type and uh, let's add it uploads is created let's now go to the reports and notification method is email but to whom let's go here and uh, okay it is not allowing me to even edit it now okay so i found the issue uh, according to this post it is saying that the issue was in 4.1.0 and 4. Point is, re is fixed and should be released in 4.1.0 or 4.0.2 and i believe i believe we have the version is 4.0.1 so the issue is not with me i mean we the configuration we already did is correct but it is not accepting any email id and it is now fixed i will put post to how, how we can fix it or how to update it we will see how to update the superset but if you have version which is lesser than the 4.0.1 or the version that is currently which is 4.0.2 it should let's uh, wait till we get update or let me do one thing i will create another video specifying how to update the superset and then we will update it uh, together and then i will create another report another video on our website reports but basically i will publish this report because uh, this this video because there were a lot of requests regarding alerts and reports so someone i mean many of you might get a chance to fix it or if your specific superset version is older or newer than mine so it should work and if it doesn't work i'm always here to help so let's see what happens so if you have any question please feel free to contact me on contact uh, my email id is not working i will get it uh, working today but it is basically contact at the red if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.